Hi, I'm Brett. I want to talk about why we give. Money is a big issue for us, most of us, and this is where we get stuck in most of our lives. Listen to what Jesus said. So when you give to the poor, don't sound a trumpet before you like the hypocrites in the synagogues do or in the streets so that they can be honored by men. I say to you, they will have their reward in full. But when you give to the poor, don't let your left hand or your right hand know what it's doing so that in all your giving, it will be done in secret. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Whether you return your tithe, give an offering, give to the poor, or give a special gift, financial gift to the church or to somebody, all our good giving should be, one, done quietly without trying to attract attention. Secondly, we should develop a healthy pattern of consistency in our giving. And the Bible calls that faithfulness. Thirdly, we give because God loves us. And He's saved us. And He's changed us. And He's made us sons and daughters. Bottom line, we're blessed. And because we're blessed, we're happy. And because we're happy, we're happy to give. We have an irrationally generous Father. He gave us His all. He gave us His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to, to die for our sins and to give us an inheritance in Himself that we could live with Him for eternity. We don't need to give to try and arm wrestle God's attention. We shouldn't be given because someone's arm wrestling us or manipulating us to give. We give because we're blessed. And because we're blessed, we give. We know the Bible says our Father in heaven sees our hearts and because He sees our hearts, He's the one who will reward us. So giving in my understanding is a connection between open-heartedness and open hands. And someone said this, if our hearts are truly His, then our everything will be His. So let's look at this whole thing about how we handle money and possessions. I'll see you in the next video.